What's up, Miami Dolphin fans and football fans alike? Uh, Y'all know on this channel, I cover everything, not just Dolphins, but today we're going to cover my favorite team and how trash we are. But I am actually happy that we lost, and I'm going to explain why I'm happy that we lost, okay? I'm all in for tanking for Cam Ward, and we're going to take and talk about that today. Now, Cam Ward is the one of the more electric college football quarterbacks that I've ever seen. Uh, especially in the last decade when it comes to talent and what he has to offer. A uh, guy started off at UIW, got 10 touchdowns in two games. We saw him last year uh, in the Washington versus Washington State game where he balled out, put the team on his back. Even when he loses, he's putting the team on his back, similar to like a Josh Allen, man. I've, and I've, I've always wanted a player on the Dolphins who's like a Josh Allen, who's like a, a, a guy who's like immensely accurate, who can take and run the ball, but who plays with a high IQ. Um, I'm a Tua fan. Look, look, y'all. I got the Tua jersey on, man. I love Tua. I love Tua. I want Tua to come back healthy. And hopefully we don't even got to take a talk about this, but let's be real. It ain't happening. This is a guy, I guarantee you when he comes back in two to three weeks, however long it is, it's not going to be good. And all the Dolphins fans who really want him to come, come back, you dang near are accomplices to murder. I'm serious. I don't support it. I do not support Tua coming back because this is a man who literally, literally, he wasn't even helmet to helmet this last hit this time. What will it be next time? Is it worth the permanent brain damage for you to be satisfied as a Dolphins fan? Let me ask you that. Um, but let's take and talk about this game a little bit, man. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was super hyped about Tyler Huntley. Super hype. I mean, I was, I, I, did I think we were going to win? I, yes, yes, because Titans stink. But the Titans have some very good players, man. They have a few good DBs on their team. Um, TJ Spears, who I've followed since he was at Tulane, um, man, he's made quite the leap since last year, man. He balled out yesterday against us. I hate to say it, but that it's the truth. He did. Uh, Mason Rudolph, man, after the Will Levis injury, man, he did his thing too. Um, but I'm looking at the stats here. We didn't even meet 100 yards. <laughs> we uh, 14 for 22, it was a 96 yards. Dang, dang, Tyler Huntley, dang. Well, at least he ain't throw no interceptions. That's good. But uh, this was, was not good. Tyreek Hill, who's supposed to be the best receiver, the fastest man in the NFL, got three attempts, uh, three rushing attempts for 19 yards. And catching, he had four catches for 23. Ouch. Ouch. John w. Smith got nothing. Uh, <laughs> Devon Achan uh three for 14 i mean i'm just looking here and this this is just frustrating i think i think we got one sack by jordan brooks that's pretty good other than that there wasn't a whole lot of highlights i saw maybe one throw by tyler huntley that i liked a lot but um he held the ball incredibly way too long but i think this is by design i think we tank for cam ward uh now those who don't remember uh steven ross our our team owner had made a comment. He said, if it don't work out this year, that people are gone. Like, <laughs> people are gone. And all of this happens right after we repaid. Like, you know, Jalen Ramsey, he got the bag more, right? But he's he's balling out, man. He's, he's playing some good football uh, from what I see for the most part. Uh, you know, then we got Tyreek Hill. <laughs> he can't get fed the ball because he don't have a quarterback, right? And then, of course, we got Tua who just took and got paid. So uh, we're going to be hurting for some years. But, man, if we can take and tank or we could go all the way out and tank even next year, you know, build up the O-line for next year's draft uh, for the 2025 draft and go all out and get Arch. Arch Manning from Texas, man. Man, he would look good in aqua and orange, man. I'd be a fan of that as well, too. Uh, but comment below, who do you think would be better for the Dolphins? Archman, Cam Ward. It seems to me, and in my opinion, they're probably about a year apart. I believe, yeah, this is definitely Cam's last year in college football. So and then you have Archman. And uh, should we get Shador? Now, with Shador, uh, he's been banged up a lot, right? He's had concussions. He one of the worst O-lines, but he still stands in the pocket and delivers and deals. So depending on how the college season's, ends i would like to throw him in the conversation but uh there's some maturity issues with shador as well too i feel like when it comes to, like real leadership cam ward really is that guy uh you see that the the work that 
he's doing with his coach Mario Cristobal over in uh over for the Miami Hurricanes, man. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm such a big fan. Um as a Dolphins fan, you know, we've been wanting a quarterback for a long time. And in my opinion, we finally got that into a finish the NFL most accurate quarterback last year, but we cannot take and risk that. And if we have to lose every single game for the rest of the year, every single game for the rest of the year, I'm for it. I completely am for it. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, um, I, I didn't like the tanking idea when it came to Tua, but when we got to, I was really, really happy. He was coming off of a nasty injury, but I'm looking at these games here. I'm looking at our schedule uh, next week. Uh, look, Dolphins, Patriots, Dolphins, Colts. We got Cardinals, Buffalo Bills, Rams. Rams are a scrappy team. Raiders, scrappy team. I'm seeing teams that we're going to lose to. I don't see a single team on this schedule that we're going to beat. I think we get swept. I think it's it, – we don't even have to try to hide it. <laughs> the O-line looks horrible. O-line looks terrible. It looks bad. We can't get a run game going when we do that. And Mike McDaniel, here's another hot take. I think he gets, I think there's a good chance that he takes and gets fired. A massive chance, but maybe not. I'm not quite giving up on him just yet, but I don't know. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts, but that's all I got for here today. Let's start the hashtag now. Hashtag tank for cam starting it right now. I post on my Twitter account. Follow me at Touchdown Doug. Uh, but we'll see you guys next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Thank you for watching another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith, where we have exclusive NFL content and exclusive NFL interviews. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. See you on the next one.